what's up what's going on i haven't made like one of these recent pickup videos in a while i think the last one i made was like seven or eight months ago but i've been doing a little bit of like shopping both for myself and to also sell so i thought i would show you guys some of it and yeah this is a jacket from Issei Sport. I think a lot of people call this like the care tag or care label bomber. It's one of the more iconic pieces from his Issei Sport line. I actually used to own the cotton version of this, but I ended up selling it because it wasn't really warm at all. It was more of like a springtime jacket rather than like actual outerwear. This one is the wool version. It's a lot heavier and it has like lining on the inside. And also the back graphic, like the IS logo and the message and everything is embroidered rather than like a screen print like how it was on the cotton version. The cut is still the same, which I like. It has these like really wide shoulders and it's cropped on the body and also the width is pretty wide as well so it does have like that classic bomber jacket silhouette i've actually been wanting this jacket for like a while like ever since like high school or something i remember being in class like uh i don't know practicing for my sats or some shit and i was looking through like just old screenshots of like magazines from the 80s and there was a dude wearing this jacket like showing his back like the back graphic and i just thought that looked sick so ever since then i really wanted it but these have always went for like a stupid ass price they're like really expensive for no reason it was always out of my price range and now that i have like a little bit more financial stability i guess i saw this on an auction and i got it for like a decent price so uh yeah pretty happy about this jacket all right so this is the second item i'm only gonna talk about this item for a little bit because i showed it off a lot in my last video this is the padded cassette bag from bottega this is one of the more iconic pieces from bottega after daniel lee joined as creative director and i'm pretty sure it's like a flagship item from them now because it was so popular but yeah i really love this bag it's like a crossbody messenger bag for like small things you could fit like your water bottle or your cologne or like gum cigarettes just like any small thing and it's really useful for like everyday use if you're just like gonna go hang out with your friends or like whatever i'm really happy with this bag i use it like every day if i go out very easy to pull off i think with like any fit fourth item so this is a shirt from undercover's most recent collection which took a lot of inspiration from their spring summer 2006 collection spring summer 2006 was a collection that was heavily inspired off of kraut rock culture kraut rock is like this genre of experimental electronic music that came out of like germany i think and similar to how like number nine and like other undercover collections were heavily inspired inspired off of grunge music um spring summer 2006 had a lot of like kraut rock imagery and like paying homage to like these old kraut rock musicians and artists and stuff like that i think they were trying to be really commercial because like undercover archive goes for a lot of money now so they're trying to like you know capitalize on that but yeah, this shirt is pretty cool. It looks very similar to this one white shirt that I had from Spring Summer 2006. I'll put it up on the screen right now. But it shares like same, very similar graphics and stuff like that. So I thought that was kind of interesting because Spring Summer 2006 is like one of my favorite undercover collections. I wanted to wear this in the summer, but it's not breathable at all. And it's like pretty fuzzy too. It's not like a breathable cotton shirt that you could wear to like the beach or something. It's more of like a fall time shirt. So uh, yeah, I think it looks really nice with my Bottega bag. It makes it like really pop out. And uh, yeah. Okay, so this is the third item. This is the Europa hoodie from Balenciaga. It's from like a really long time ago. I really like the graphic. The graphic is supposed to be like a play on um, like dry cleaning shit. Like, you know, when you go to the dry cleaners and you pick up your 
suit or whatever and it comes in like that plastic like protective whatever and it'll say like the dry cleaner's name and like the best quality dry cleaning the best whatever you know it's basically a play on that and uh it just looks cool i like red on black so yeah i bought it like five or six months ago one thing i really like about this hoodie is that it's fucking warm dude because the inside is like sherpa material like it's all fuzzy and stuff so i'll be wearing this in the winter like 50 degrees with just like a t-shirt and i'm chilling like it's super warm the sleeves are like big as fuck which i really like and since it has like the adjusters right here you could um crop it to your liking so i usually like wear it pretty cropped and uh yeah pretty sick hoodie fifth item or fourth i don't i don't know i'm not keeping count anymore this is a real pickup right here this is a hoodie from rough simmons and veta memes rough simmons is this brand that parodies a lot of older Raf simmons pieces and veta memes is this instagram like fashion meme page kind of you know i never thought i'd buy apparel from an instagram meme page but this hoodie is fire as fuck i really like everything about it i really like this yellowish cream color the raglan sleeves the really wide sleeves and like the exaggerated oversized silhouette the screen print also isn't like a screen print it's like a print that was on another fabric and then they stitched it onto the hoodie rather than printing on the hoodie itself the same way that those older raf simmons hoodies were made they all have like the screen print stitched onto the hoodie rather than like printed on the hoodie and yeah there's not much else to say about it other than it's just sick this is also like technically certified viper merch and yeah it's probably like one of my favorite pickups recently <coughs> Okay, so this is the next item. So I got these recently. They're from Celine. They're from the Phoebe Philo era, which like a lot of people think is Celine's best years. Dust bag, uh, some other packaging stuff. This shit. These are the shoes. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, so these are Celine's delivery sneakers by Phoebe Philo. They're basically like luxury Air Force Ones. They're this very bulky, chunky white sneakers that go really well with wide pants. They also have like a little bit of height to them, which I didn't notice until just now, until I saw it in person, which I obviously don't need because I'm like, you know, six, eight. I think these will look really nice with like some huge ass pants with like a flare at the bottom or something. So I first saw these shoes on another dude's YouTube channel named Gizmo. I'm sure we have a lot of viewer like overlaps so I'm sure a lot of you guys will know who he is but yeah I first saw these on his channel like two or three years ago and ever since then I've been wanting them. So you know I'll admit it I'm stealing his swag. I don't care. These shoes are nice as fuck. I'm a little scared to wear them because I always fuck up white sneakers like the first week but yeah so next item this is a necklace from this brand called Shermer, formerly known as Shermer academy by this guy named shohei it's made of sterling silver and it has like all these hearts as the links i wear this like i don't know probably every time i go out i always wear it because it's like super flexible you can sort of hide it with your t-shirt if it's like you know the collar is like this or you could wear like a wider collar shirt and just like show the whole thing i really like this necklace it was like sold out in like i don't know like a few seconds so i couldn't get it at first but then i contacted like this sales associate at this store that i know and uh he saved me one it's pretty sick oh and it also comes in like this cute ass packaging this like box that's shape of a heart because it dropped on like valentine's day i think the resale prices on these are kind of stupid um they go for a fuck ton because it was like sold out so quickly but you could definitely find a cheaper alternative to this like you could even make one yourself like i'm sure you could find heart shaped like metallic like necklace accessories and make them into links but yeah i really like this necklace i wear it like every day So here's another item. Um, oh, so here's another item. These are from Acne Studios. These are a pair of jeans. 
It's from their La Const line, or however you pronounce it, it's their denim line. This reminds me a lot of Alessandro Michel's Gucci when he first joined and made all those like floral pattern jeans, if you guys remember. These have like a bunch of flowers and like horses printed on them and like some leaves. Um, it's basically like a very similar floral pattern. They have a button fly and the cut is very similar to a Levi's 501. I honestly don't think I'm gonna wear this. I'm probably gonna sell it because I tried it on and I don't really think it's my style. So uh, yeah, if you want these, hit me up. Okay, so these are like the last few items. This is a jacket from this Japanese brand called Name. This is like a biker jacket from them, but it's made of wool and like really fuzzy and like comes in this bright yellow color. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I could pull this off. I just kind of bought it thinking that I could. But um, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll wear it like a few times in the winter and like see how it goes. But I wanted to experiment with my style a little bit. So yeah. Some other stuff I bought too. Um, this is a shirt from Celine. I really like the graphic. It's like the old like collegiate font kind of. The sleeves are pretty short so makes my arms look big, which I fuck with. Here's another shirt that's like kind of small. Uh, it's like a ringer tee from Saint Laurent. These ones also have a pretty short sleeve. This is a shirt from Vetements, the I Love Paris Hilton t-shirt. Yeah, just a cool white shirt. I wear it like tucked in or something. Okay, so the last thing I want to show is this. It's like Mickey rocking now. He's about to smash his guitar and shit. He's like going crazy. It's pretty cool. I got this at this store in Japan that sells like a lot of like vintage like figurines and collectibles and shit like that. This is a collaboration with Medicom and Disney. It's from the same time from when they made my number nine Mickey figurine. This is basically just like a miniature version from the same collection. I usually keep this dude on my desk. He's just chilling here next to some coffee and uh lip balm so yeah that's gonna be it for the video sorry if the lighting was really bad i was trying to film during the day but next time it'll be better my ig's in the description if you guys want to hit me up sometimes i'll get messages from people that watch my videos like oh i really like what you're doing and stuff like that and that shit is like you know makes me happy so so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh peace